please. Um, I think my part, my play in the body of Christ is to be a cheerleader. I don't know, I haven't, I haven't spied that out in scripture yet, but I think that's what part of my ministry is to the body of Christ, is to be a cheerleader. You know, I, I, a real quick story, I used to embarrass my kids at their sporting events. I was one of the dads that would be running up and down on the sidelines. Come on, you guys can do it. Everybody else is sitting down, and I'm running up and down. So I love the Lord. I love this house. I love this people. Uh, Y'all say this with me. The devil has no power. The devil has no power. I am a believer. I am a believer. I believe like my elder brother, Jesus. I believe like my elder brother, Jesus. Now, if y'all can't say this, you know, come at the end and get saved, okay? All right. Or get saved now. I fix my eyes on things above, not below. I fix my eyes on things above, not below. I am God's child. I am God's child. He loves me. He loves me. Because he loves me, I freely and willfully give him my whole heart. Because he loves me, I willfully and cheerfully give him my whole heart. I am saved, healed, delivered. I am saved, healed, delivered. I see God's wisdom. I see God's wisdom. Nothing can hurt me. Nothing can hurt me. Tonight I have come expecting God's best. Tonight I have come expecting God's best. Wealth and riches are in my house. Wealth and riches are in my house. I have come on purpose. I have come on purpose. Tonight, tonight, to plant myself, to plant myself in the good ground, in the good ground of God, of God at AFC. At AFC. Okay, y'all can sit down. If you need an envelope, raise your hand. The usher has an envelope for you if you haven't got one already. You know, brother, that's one, brother Ricky. That's probably one of my favorite scriptures of all time because you know, it helps you make a decision. And knowing that you're making a decision that produces something from Amen. God. It's God's hand given. You know, if you seek Him with your whole heart. But it's a matter of the heart. Everything is a matter of your heart. A matter of your decision. You must make room for God to speak to you and fill you. By making room, you are making time for Him. You must... Decrease, he must increase. Your daily devotion, your daily purpose here in this life, the daily moments and actions that you set aside for him is where God downloads his wisdom to you. Your job is the practice field. I love sports, any kind of sport or arena or playground. You know, started on the playground. The racing field, you know, these places we go to to practice what we're learning. Your job is a practice field of, and training ground where God's seeds of greatness grow. That field produces the seed you need to plant to have the harvest of your heart's desire. So, the seeds of greatness in you, your heart's desire, I said this last week, and, and this is a foundation God gave me for my ministry. If you're willing, He will help, he will help your obedience. Yeah. So it's back to the matter of the heart. You know, what, what are you training your heart to do for God? It's your decision. You have to speak to yourself. You have to put, you have to subject your flesh to the will of God. And so it's it's not. Anybody else, it's you and what you decide to do. But same thing, back to what brother, the scripture Brother Richard gave us. That thing you love to do will start coming, will be, it'll give birth as you put yourself before God. It's, in, it's already in you. God put it in there before you were in your mother's womb. But by hearing the word of God, by learning in this house, this is a university of God's house. By learning these things, those things come out of you, and your joy will become full. Amen. Glory to God.